stepping up, setting up their, their position, and the Spaniards haven't realized it. But the men are now running and yelling. Remember the Alamo, remember Goliath. Texas cannons are working well and have effectively disabled the Mexican cannons. The Texas Army is advancing with every cannon blast. More soldiers from Mexico are falling. As far as I can tell, there are hundreds of Mexicans killed and wounded. Okay. There are about nine to 10 Texans killed and only 10 wounded. The Texans seem to be enjoying this because they're taking all of the Mexican riches. Not even one of the Mexicans are fighting back because they are all either dead or held prisoner. Um, it seems as if Santa Ana fled during the battle. We're being notified that a search parties are being sent to look for him. While they search, let us fill you in on some of the other actions the Texas managed right before the battle. Sam Houston held a council of war with sever several officers, deciding what their position should be and the plan of attack beforehand. There were different suggestions on what position the soldiers should be put in, but Houston gave his own views and approved it by the Secretary of War, Thomas J. Rusk. Also, Houston ordered Def Smith to tear apart the bridge over Vince's Bayou after the Mexicans had crossed it to stop any more troops from coming. Also, I've just been notified by a Texan that Santa Ana has been found in a normal Mexican soldier's uniform. He's dirty and wet and is being described as he wasn't recognized until a few of the Mexican prisoners, or a few of the Mexican soldiers held prisoner said El Presidente. Presidente. Santa Ana is now signing an order that will remove all Mexican soldiers to south of the Rio Grande River. Supposedly, a couple of peace treaties will also be called. Santa Ana will be taken to Texas to sign both of them. It may have taken a great effort, but the Revolutionary Army has proudly succeeded in it being the main Mexican army and Santa Ana, the president of Mexico. Thank you very much for watching, and please join us next time when we will update you on any major events happening around Texas.